Nigerians displaced by insurgency in the northeast have appealed to well many Nigerians and the federal government to donate food items, educational materials and clothing to internally displaced persons camps in different parts of the federal capital territory. Now, they made the appeal. Lisa Yaro led an outreach to an IDP camp located at Durumi Area 1 Garki in Abuja City Centre a part of a part pet project in the spirit of giving back to the society. Queen renovated classrooms and reopened the school at the camp, provided uniforms and books for 100 children. Staffing, we're staffing teachers here within the year, and I will continue to implement that as well. On top of bringing aid and bringing school supplies, books, we're bringing also uniforms and reopening the school because, as I stated before, education is very important because these kids are the future. And in order for them to have a prosperous future, we each have to stand behind them and give them the proper tools to progress in life. So we are employing teachers. We're, paying, we're employing teachers and paying them for the first year, and I will renew it again. So, like I said, this is an initial seed that I'm planting. It will be a continuous journey because no one person can do it alone, but I, on my own, will continuously plant these seeds and see them harvest and see them flourish. And it's my hope that other people will continue to plant seeds as well and will have a beautiful garden. So why did she tell us that she, uh, she was going to repair a school for our children and bring uniform and bring books and even the teachers. They ask us that why these teachers are not coming always. We say because of the transport money, they are not coming always. She said that there's, she's going to continue paying the teachers so that they will come every day. They want want these children to learn more because they are the leader of tomorrow. Let's have, let come together, we collaborate together, we join hand together so that this work is not for one person. It's supposed to join hand and do it so that our children, will, they will grow with education. We will not go back to Boko Haram again. The school has closed down since 2017. Today we are happy. Somebody has reached out and uh, re 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 they refurbish it brought uniforms and books and furniture. We rely on you, Honorable Wike, to, to, on our behalf, advocate for our rights with the federal government, our rights with the international community, our rights with humanity. The IDPs in Abuja are on their own. We have been left on our own. The IDPs food, 99% comes from individuals. 99% of clothes we wear comes from individuals. Um, I think it's a great one. I mean, to see someone so passionate about giving back to the society and not only just saying those words, but actually following through and redeeming it. So it's a great one. You can see the smiles on the faces of the children and the mothers and fathers here. So yes, I'm inspired myself. Oh, I think that um, the government should actually create an environment that is enabling for more humanitarians to you know, rise up to the task. I've over the years and over time spoken to people who are passionate about doing something, but then they just say that the environment is not so enabling. So collaborations from the government to make, um, to make the environment more enabling would go a long way.